All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and uh, welcome to episode 135, I think, of the, uh, nah, I'm in a shit mood, guys, so it's not the Spearhead Sunday's podcast, what was it? I'm in the, it's the, uh, welcome to the Spearhead shit mood, ah, uh, cunt podcast, all right, whatever it was, I don't know, I'm, I'm angrier than I was last time, because fuck, dude. But I've, hey, why don't we start this on a positive note, all right? I think I've been too negative on the podcast, guys. I think I've been too negative. I think I've been... <laughs> no, my kid, I've been negative enough. World's fucked, man. My fuck. Oh, my fuck. You can't, you can't see this because I'm back. Hey, on a positive note, I'm back in the warehouse, all right? Nice little setup. Can you hear my, uh, my dulcet tones going into this $600 microphone? And the $150 microphone arm, which should should be secured properly, because if it if it drops, it'll break the the microphone and the arm, which is a $750 podcast investment into a podcast that makes no money <laughs> because not enough people support me on Patreon to justify the cost of this microphone, but I wanted it anyway, right? And it should be secured properly to this fucking thing, but instead, instead of securing it properly, we've got a big plank of wood and a big metal bracket that my dad s drilled into the thing and then instead of securing the podcast arm to the metal bracket like I asked him to he instead wrapped a fuckload of duct tape around the arm and then secured the podcast arm to the duct tape thus ensuring the safety of nothing <laughs> so there's my Patreon plug alright Support me on Patreon, you get early access to everything. I'm recording this one on a Friday, so Patreon cunts are listening to this on Friday night, hey? How's that for a fucking party, huh? Early access. I'm back from tour, man. I'm pumping out these fucking, this fucking content, dude. I, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working in the background on videos that are kind of timeless. Uh, and I'm just going to keep, I'm going to finish off the tour vlog. Because it's weird, the tour vlog should have been finished by the time the tour finished, obviously. Because... But that didn't happen, because, um, I don't know, the, the, the editor, whatever, that's the thing, right? Um, so they're going to come out, but what I'm going to do is, while they're coming out, instead of just sitting and be like, Oh, I don't have to do anything! I've got a video banked up, I don't have to do anything! Instead of doing that, I'm just going to make content and put myself, like, three weeks ahead, so that when it times, comes time for me to start doing videos and shit, I'll, I'll never stop, man. Because I, I got on such a good roll once this year. <laughs> I got on such a good roll and then I fucked it. Because uh, the two and the special. But I feel really good about next year, man. Because uh, I don't have any... I've got nothing to do. It's the greatest. All I'm going to do is write a new show for the tour at the end of the year. And do fucking videos and try and blow up and make this podcast bigger as well. I'm real fucking excited about 2019, bro. That's the fucking year. And also, 2019, I know I started this in a shit mood, but I'm just starting to remember how good this fucking year's going to be now that everything's done. Uh, if, uh, in 2019, uh, sorry, I must have forgotten what the fuck happened there. Ah, eh, ah, I can't remember what I was supposed to talk about even though I only have to do this once a week. I have Asperger's. I am the Asperger's bot. Hello, welcome to Asperger's own. This, <laughs> this, this bit is only a little bit funny and it's not worth it because I'm probably going to end up in the news. Asperger's bot deactivate shutting down. I'm gay. You. <laughs> What was I talking about? Oh yeah, um, 2019 is the year that I'm taking out the podcast awards, popular vote. Because if you remember guys, last year I made a big noise. I said, hey, we're going to win the 2018 podcast popular vote award. And I entered myself in and then I forgot to tell you guys to vote until after the voting period closed. Because... I am fucking dumb. But 
this week, dude, this week, next year, very different. A week goes for seven days, a year is for 365 days, 52 weeks. Maths, that's my Asperger, Asperger bot knows how to do math. Asperger bot going to end up in the Herald Sun. Comedian Lewis Spears has made an un... <laughs> Comedian Lewis Spears has made a very offensive, unfunny stereotype about people with Asperger's calling them robots. No, okay? This bit is not saying that people with Asperger's are robots. I love people with Asperger's. They're fucking sick. One time, I met a guy with Asperger's, and he remembered... Uh, oh, no, it was a girl. It was a girl, right? And she remembered uh, where I lived. She knew the whole map. Oh, like the she had the fucking you remember the Melways or whatever the fuck you guys had? You like how remember how before phones and before GPSs, everyone had this fucking map of just every street in their in their city, right? And you were like, oh, how do I get to Timmy's house for his birthday? And your dad would be like, oh, look it up in the Melways, and he just flick through it and but I met this fucking girl when I was like 12 she was like nine right and I got in the car and uh and uh I sat down in the car to hang out with my mate and then she immediately goes hello what when when were you born and I was like oh January 16th 94 she's like okay and then uh, they were like oh we need to get to this address and they gave her the address and like how do we get there sweetie and she's like you have to turn left and then right on this road and then go forwards for this much and that fucking blew my mind because she remembered every single street in her head if she if she she would study this fucking map and she'd remember it that's fucking cool bro that's and that's the power of asperger's some special talents that we'll never do i mean now if that happened to me now i'd be like ah yeah but my phone can do that but <laughs> but back then that was that was impressive right what Anyway, so what I'm saying is, is, is people with Asperger's are not like robots. I'm saying that if there was a robot with Asperger's, it'd be really cool. But regardless, Asperger's bot isn't funny enough for me to keep doing it throughout the hour of the podcast. However, it amuses me personally, so I will keep doing it. I'm gay. <laughs> What am I... Yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot to tell everyone to vote for me in the fucking podcast awards. Actually, I'm going to look it up because if I keep talking about this shit and it's like already passed, let me look it up. Let's try... Oh, I don't have internet in the warehouse. That's right. Oh, let me set up my... Hey, guys, just let you know, I'm setting up my personal uh, hotspot um, while you're listening to this. Uh, could have done this beforehand, um, but that would uh, require me to respect my audience and the platform that I have. And we... <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do it while I'm live on the podcast. Because, hey man, it's free. I say this, but you know what? I also don't edit these parts out of the uh, of the podcast that I give to the Patreon people. But they get it early, alright? That's their little fucking thing, alright? What am I doing? Oh yeah. Australian Podcast Awards. Let's look this up. Australian Podcast Awards. I'm so fucking angry, man. If I've missed this. Uh, 2018? Ah, oh, 2019. Enter. Okay. Enter the awards. Three categories that are free to enter. All right. Hit, let's see which, which one I'm going to win, okay? All right, so there's the popular vote. Obviously, I think I got a fair chance at that, right? If all of you... Think about it. I, I get like a couple thousand downloads on this. If all of you guys vote for me in this... Like, if, you know when you... You know what? You know when I say like... When I when you hear someone go, bro, or if every single person listening to this donated or pledged just one dollar to my Patreon, I would be able to afford this. And then you listen to it and you go, man, that'd be great. I really hope that he can do that. I mean, I'm not giving him fucking money, but I really that's this is not that, all right? Because let me tell you, I, I could when I did my fucking uh, when I did my fucking crowd fund for my comedy special. I, I reckon at least 150,000 people saw that, and 95% of cunts didn't, alright? And that's fine, because that's a monetary thing, whatever, that's fine, okay? You're lost, you're not gonna see my comedy special, you're lost. But, this is free, man, and this, I feel like this is a mandatory thing. 
This has been, remember, this has been a year-long campaign, dude. The 2019 Podcast Awards. If you listen to Spearhead Sundays and you don't vote for me, you're a fucking dog. And you will be a dog forever. And if I meet you after a show and you go, and you, and this is what I'm going to do from now on. Every time I do a show, if someone comes up to me and goes, bro, I love the podcast. I'm going to go, thanks, man. Did you vote for me in the podcast awards? And if they, if they, if I even get a whiff of hesitation, right, if they go, oh, eh, I'm going to be like, hey, man, get the fuck out. I'm going to get the money they paid for the ticket. I'm going to pull it out of my, po- I'm going to have like, like, I don't know, $300 in my wallet. At every show. And if they don't, if they say they haven't voted for me, I'm going to say, hey man, I'm going to pull out my fucking wallet, right? I'm going to pull out my fucking women's purse and I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to be like, hey man, hey man, here's your money back. Don't ever fucking see it. And I'm going to put, I'm gonna, so like, so, so disrespectful. Like I'm going to, I'm going to unzip my, and I'm going to unzip it in a way. And when I pull out the money, I'm going to pull it out in a way where you can see like all of the money, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, no, I'm gonna carry two thousand dollars in my wallet all the time, just so if I meet one cunt who listens to this podcast who didn't vote in the podcast awards, I'm gonna open my wallet, real disrespect, like this. I'm gonna, hey man, and I'm gonna pull out my wallet and I'm gonna show them that it's a Gucci wallet. I'm gonna say, hey man, check out, check out this fucking wallet. Uh, where'd you get yours from, Kmart? And then I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna lick their face. Like, I'll pull out my wallet and I'll go, do you know how much this cost? And then I'll lean in real close and I'll just lick their, like, I'll just lick their face. Like, fucking guy or girl, right? Even if, even if they have, like, heaps of facial hair, I'm going to go from the chin, like, all the way up to the top of the temple. And then I'm going to unzip my wallet. Like, I'll, I'll show them the brand of the wallet and I'll go, hey, man, look at this. And they look at it and when they understand that it's an expensive wallet, I will then lick their face and slowly unzip it like this. And then I'll pull out like all of, like pull out $2,000 in cash, right? And then I'll just, and then I'll just leaf out like $35. What they paid for the ticket, I'm gonna leaf it out and I'll be like, hey, here's your money back. Never come to a show again, you fucking dog. And then as they turn around, like I just alpha the shit out of them. You know what I mean? Like they like uh, like already after I've licked the face and shown off the wallet already I'm the fucking big dog in this situation you know what I mean like I'm already three heads taller than you bro and I've and I'm, I'm I've pulled out my wallet and licked your face game over you're the beta all right clean my shoes <laughs> and then and then as they walk away real sad like oh. I can't, I can't believe I went full bitch mode. Like he, I let him lick my face. I can't believe I'm such a beta. Like right when they think I'm done with them, I'm going to just be like, hey man, forgot one thing. And they'll look around and I'll go, never mind. And then they walk away and I just slap them on the ass. And that's what happens if you don't fucking vote for me in the 2019 podcast awards. Now let's see what category, right? What category am I going to enter? So there's three categories. All right. So there's the popular vote. All right. Obviously, I'm uh, I'm uh, eligible for that. The uh, the best audiogram. The fuck is a audiogram? Is it like Instagram? But there's no fucking headliner. And the OzPod Awards are excited to be encouraging the use of audiograms to help podcasters reach new audiences. This is a special category for for podcasters to explore the use of audiogram app what the fuck audiogram headline this is a special category for podcasters to explore the use of audiogram app headliner to produce video for growing their audiences the fuck is audiogram headliner your free video service what the fuck? Hey. This seems to be like a sponsor. Here we go, creating videos. How to create a full episode audiogram. Oh, so it just fucking turns your podcast into waveforms. I mean, uh, that's an ad, alright? Hey, headliner. 
This might be a bad decision. This might be a bad... I probably shouldn't say this, but hey, headliner, I know you're the sponsor of the fucking podcast awards, but hey, dude, <laughs> no one's going to use you. <laughs> you know what? Here's the thing, okay? Oh, there's one more category. Diversity and inclusion. I mean, hey, are they including straight white males in this? Example topics. Uh, disability inclusion. I mean, I just did a whole bit on a robot with Asperger's, so that's check. Indigenous rep- oh, representation. Did I not mention that it was also an Aboriginal robot? <laughs> yeah, well, it is. So check. LGBTIQ fucking alphabet issues. It's also a gay robot. Animal rights. It has a it has a it has a a, a gay Asperger's animal robot dog. Living with mental illness. Um, it's also it's also got depression. Uh, gender equality, it identifies as a woman, and feminism, it uh, thinks women should be able to drive. So, I mean, I'm eligible for that one, but I don't know, man. Maybe I won't. I probably won't enter that one. I, I, okay, I, okay, obviously the popular vote is my category. Here's the deal. If I win, right, here's what I'm going to do. If I win the popular vote of the 2019 fucking podcast awards, here's what's going to happen. When I go up and I accept my reward... My award for winning the popular vote of the 2019 Podcast Awards. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up there in front of the live audience that's there. And I'll film this shit for the podcast group, right, on Facebook. I'll film this shit. And what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up there in a fucking suit. I'm going to get up there in a suit. And I'm going to say to the whole audience, I'm going to say, Hey, headliner, I know you're the sponsor of the Podcast Awards. But no one's going to pay for that shit. I'm out. Lewis Spears, 2019. I'm the best. And then I'm going to get off stage. And the whole fucking audience is going to boo me. And then I'll come back and I'll pull out my wallet. And I'll go, you see this fucking women's Gucci purse? You know how... I don't give a fuck if you think it's for girls. Listen to this and I'll bring it up real close. It's so disrespectful. Real close to the microphone and I'll go, hey... 2019 podcast awards listen to this and then i'll pull out like all the cash i have I'll, I'll, no i only have five i'll pull out five dollars and then i'll just fucking flick it at the audience and i'll go fight over that you pelicans and then i'll and then i'll fly all the way home with my award and i'll put it on my shelf and <laughs> all right that's what i'll do i swear it okay that's what i'm gonna fucking do when i win I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on stage and I'm gonna trash talk the sponsor of the event and then throw five dollars at the crowd and just like burn every bridge in the whole podcast industry. The podcast, who the, what the fuck is the podcast industry? What, like headliner and two guys who sell microphones? <laughs> so can you? I can, okay, I can enter, but when do the, when does the voting? When does the voting commence? All right. Promotion of our winners. When when can you fucking vote, dude? That's what I want to know. Oh, entry information. Where are we? Entry guidelines. All right, so the entries are open. You cannot vote yet. When the fuck? All right. Entries open on November 1st. The event takes place on the 18th of May. When the fuck can you vote? Why 2019? When the fuck? Alright, entry information. Latest news, surely. Read more. Um... Entries are open until the 14th of February. So it must be sometime in fucking Feb. This is why I forgot to tell you cunts to vote last time. Because it doesn't fucking say anywhere. Fees. 30 bucks to enter! Whatever. Ah, public voting. Uh... Uh, fuck it. Oh, the 10th of January. All right. So the 10th of January, 
until the 14th of February. Everyone, right now, put it in your fucking diary. I'm getting my phone out, alright? Everyone, get it in your diary. If you're listening to this on a fucking, on, a, on your fucking app, right? You can close it now. Press, I'm going to give you one, two, three. Get your phone and then fucking get up your calendar app. I'm doing it now. Where is it? And I want you, wow, where the fuck's mine? Um, all right, if, oh, if you're listening on YouTube, you can't pause and bring it up if you're on your phone. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop so that you can put it in your calendar, all right? I'm going to stop in three, two, one, go. I'll wait. All right, I'm not going to stop. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, all right, so where's my podcast? Productivity. I've got all my shit in folders, dude. So organized. Oh. Where the fuck is... Oh, there it is. Calendar. Here we go. All right. Okay. Fuck it. There we go. Bam, bam. Why the fuck am I installing Google Calendar? I have this app. Oh, okay. Here we go. Right. So, event. Setting it up. Vote for Lewis Spears in the 2019 Podcast Awards. Put it in for the 10th of January, all right? The 10th of January at fucking midnight. That's what I want. 10th of January. Where are we? How the fuck? Not December. January. Here we go. That's a Thursday, right? Midnight. That's when we're all voting. Vote for Lewis Spears in the 2019 Podcast and put that, it ends, right, on the 14th of Feb. So you have, yeah, make it go from the 10th of January to the 14th of February. Fucking a month and, and four days. Fuck yeah. My calendar looks awful. <laughs> now it's just fucking full of vote for yourself. But that's what I'm saying, man. Because if you don't do that, I'm going to lick your face. All right? And that's and you'll never yeah, and you'll never come to a show again. And I'm going to win. And when I win that fucking podcast award and I throw that $5 note at the crowd, what they're going to do, the whole crowd is going to be like, "Oh my god, that's a $5 note touched by Lewis Spears, winner of the 2019 popular vote for the for the podcast awards of Australia." Give and they'll all fight and kill each other just to get that five dollars, and then they won't even spend it. <laughs> so that's what we're all fucking. How long have we been going here for? What? Ah, uh, fucking. Oh, dude, I've been twenty minutes and I haven't even told you why I'm in a shit mood. I'm in a great mood now, by the way. Just after talking about that podcast awards shit, I'm serious too. I'm entering, and we're gonna fucking win, dude. The Speared Sundays podcast is gonna be the most popular podcast. I mean, it's not like downloads. Like, it's it's a fucking. What I'm saying is, it's a bullshit event. But I just want to win because I think it's really funny to disrespect things, all right? And I think we can all get behind that because it's funny as fuck to be disrespectful. Now, why I'm in a shit mood is because my... Dude, my warehouse flooded again the other night. I don't know what the fuck... There's a hole in the roof or something. And, bro, the... the I get in, right? And thank fuck all of the tour merch was at the Comics Lounge. None of the merch was here, so... I get in and, and the fucking carpet is wet as fuck. One of the tables has water all over it. And I was thinking about putting like computer gear on that table. Now I won't. I'm going to move it to the other side of the warehouse. The fucking thing is it fell from obviously just one spot straight on this table and straight down to the floor. But the floor slopes a little bit. So it just went all through the fucking carpet in a line down and, and it like fucked up all of this shit. The only merch that did get damaged was... I reckon I had to throw out about 300 posters. I can't send them out. They got all fucking wet and warped. And I don't want to give them to you guys. Which sucked. But, you know what's really fucked? I almost... What happened... When I was on tour here... I had to... Uh, I, I, had about, I had about four... When I, back when I was on tour... I had to run to the warehouse... Pick up a bunch of merch... And then take it to my house... And then go to the airport, right? I only had a couple of hours. So I came in... And uh, the power was out, right? So for some reason... Somehow the power had gone out... And I've got a fridge in here that has shit in it... So 
all of the and obviously the power was out while I was on tour for like three days or something. So the fridge was all smelly. All the power is out. None of the lights work. So I turned everything on and off, and nothing was working. I was like, whatever. I'll sort this out. I've only got a couple of hours. I'll sort it out when I come home. So I just fucking ran out the door with all of the merch, and I was like, whatever. The power's out. Doesn't matter. I'm not even there for the next three weeks. Three weeks later, right? Just last week, I come home. And I go to the warehouse and I get in and the power is on. So obviously they fixed it. It must have affected somebody else and they fixed it. And I come in and the warehouse is really fucking hot. I'm like, man, why? Dude, it's so hot. I mean, I know it's summer, but it's like really, really hot. I come in and I see that when I came in the last time, three weeks before, to fucking mess around with the power and when I realized that everything was off, obviously I flicked shit on and off and I forgot to turn it off. I came back in, my heaters, two of them, had been on for three weeks. Bro, my heaters were on for three fucking weeks. I'm so lucky this place didn't burn down. And it's the same heater, right, where I had two, I had two of these heaters, and one of them I left on for four hours when it was really cold and I was here working, and it turned, and, and something fucked up, and then it just burst into flame, and because it had a fan in there, it started shooting flames out, like a fucking flamethrower. That was the same model heater. I threw out the one that started spitting flames, but that was the same model heater. So I don't know if it did that when I was fucking away, because the other one did it when it was on for four hours. This one was on for, I don't even know how many hours that is. What's 24 times 21? I'm, st- I don't know. I give up. How many fucking... And that was two of them, dude. I'm so lucky that I didn't burn the fucking place down. So the electricity bill was fucking enormous. <laughs> um, and I was like, fuck, man. Lucky the place didn't burn down. But then, of course, it fucking flooded the next day. So, Jesus Christ, dude. This, this warehouse has been like the best and the worst decision of my life. I can't wait until I get to a point where I can move out of a warehouse and into like just a fucking office building, man. That's the dream. Aircon, lift, no holes in the roof. (laughs) It doesn't flood. Oh, man. But until then, I'm stuck in my little fucking casting couch rape dungeon doing the podcast, screaming while some Russian dude pretends to ignore it. You know what happened as well? I fucking, I get there and it's all flooded. So I go to the warehouse owner. I'm like, hey man, it's all flooded. And he's like this Russian dude. And he goes, oh, oh yes, uh, we know there's been some flood, flooding in your warehouse. And I was like, yeah, man. Uh, uh, a bunch of my carpets like destroyed. I've had to throw out a bunch of uh, posters. Like that's cost me money. It's quite expensive. I had to throw out two t-shirts because they were left on the bench. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of fucked my gear. I think it broke one of my microphones. So me saying this shit as in like, Hey dude, you know, you fucking, this shit cost me money. So you should probably fucking seeing as it's your fault. You should, maybe you should fucking pay for it. <laughs> and he's like, Oh yes, we're getting the guy in to fix it off tomorrow. And then he just walked away. <laughs> And I was like, well, fuck. Whatever. Whatever, man. Dude, on a, on a lighter note, um, what we'll be doing, uh, <clears throat> all of the tour merch that is, that is thank, thank fuck, has not been damaged at all by the, by the water. It was on the other side of the warehouse. We'll be going on sale next week. I'll post about it everywhere. We've got <clears throat> not too many of them, but we have the independent variable long sleeves, um, that I was selling on tour. We don't have many sizes of them, but we have a shitload of independent variable posters for all you guys who want the posters, and I sign them as well. Uh, a few people are getting like a collection of all my tour posters, which is really cool. Designed by Matteo Mazzella, uh, and Zach Bowen did the uh, t-shirts and fucking nailed it. Um, so I'm really happy with them, and they're real good quality too, because I don't fuck around with the quality on this shit. I hate people who sell cheap merch that just falls apart. Like, dude, it's, it's been crazy. Now that I've been doing this for four years, people are rocking up wearing, like, t-shirts from year two, and they still, like, hold together. So cool. Um, so, what am I doing here? I want to do... Is it time for miscellaneous bit again? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Bro, on radio, Luke did the dumbest shit, 
And he always does Dan. But you know what? Both of us do real dumb shit. One time, I don't know if you heard, but I talked about it pretty recently. I left the heaters on in my warehouse for three weeks. That's fucking so dumb, right? That's as bad. I mean, you couldn't get worse than that if you were an autistic robot. I might be an autistic robot. I mean, <laughs> I might be a robot with Asperger's. Sorry, I, I just briefly forgot the bit that I was doing. But I might be a robot with Asperger's, but I also know that I should never leave the, the heater on for three weeks. I'm gay. Luke did the dumbest shit while we were on air, man. While we're doing the uh, the radio show, Luke and Lewis, which, by the way, the podcasts are up to date, and uh, what we've been doing, we've been leaving, like, podcast messages right at the end of, like, shit, the, all of the shit ideas that we can't put on air, all of the dumb in-jokes in and all this shit, we've just started putting at the end of the podcast just for uh, just to give something to the people who listen to the podcast version, and fuck, there's some real shit stuff at the end. It's great. Um... Like, if the radio bosses heard the shit we were doing in the podcast message, they'd be like, hey, boys, uh, we're taking your show. <laughs> but Luke did the dumbest shit, right? And you can listen to it on the podcast. We, we do this game on, on Sundays on the show called The Name Game. And it's basically, it's pretty simple. All you do is we get people to call up the radio show and, and they don't tell us their names. And we just ask them three questions about their personality. And then we try and guess their name, right? Because every name has a personality, right? Silly idea. Whatever. We did the name game on last Sunday night, and uh, we haven't... One time I guessed it two weeks in a row, and then it's been honestly about six months, because we don't cheat. Everything we do on the radio is fucking real. We don't cheat. So we've been trying to guess names and win this name for like fucking six months, man, and we haven't got it. So anyway... We start doing this thing, we get encourage people to call up, and I'm, and I'm like, hey, we haven't got it for like six months, so if you have a really simple name like Bill or John or Sarah, give us a call, right? Because we need an easy name. We've been getting difficult names that we can't guess, so call us if you have a common, easy name. And then Luke goes, yeah, don't call us if you have any complex names. Like if your name is Esmeralda, don't call. Or if your name is Cunnilingus, don't call the show. Cunnilingus. If your name is Cunnilingus, he fucking said that live on air. And then our panel operator, Radio Mike, freaks out. I freak out because you can't say Cunnilingus on radio. So we had to dump the audio because we're on a 10 second delay. So basically, when you dump, you go straight to live life, where if you say it again, then it actually goes to air, right? So the people listening at home would have heard Luke go, so if your name is, and then jumping 10 seconds into the future, right? They wouldn't have heard Cunnilingus. So then we're, we're like live live, because he because Mike dumped. And if Luke said it again, it'd go out and we'd get in big trouble. So I'm like, hey man, you can't say that on radio. And he goes, what? You can't say what? I'm like, don't! You can't say that name on radio. He's like, what name? I'm like, stop. It's not a name. He goes, what do you mean? It's a na And we had to go to a fucking song because he was so stupid that he didn't realize that cunnilingus is not a name. It's the word for eating out a pussy. And he said it on radio, bro. That's like going, hey, guys, if your name is fucking rim sucker." Don't call... Like, what is he doing? And I talked to him afterwards, and he goes, Oh, dude, I thought that... Uh, I didn't think Cunnilingus was a name. I thought Cuddalingus was a name. I'm like, okay. So, first of all, Cuddalingus is also not a name. So, why would you say that? Two... You didn't say cuddlingus, you said cunnilingus. So even if you were thinking cuddlingus, you still said eating out someone's pussy on the radio. <laughs> I swear, everyone's always like, oh, Lewis, how did you get a radio show? Is it hard not to swear? Oh, what if you say something that's going to make you lose the show? It's fucking easy. I'm telling you, man, Luke's going to be the reason we lose the show because he's going to say something fucking dumb. It won't be me, I'm telling you, it's not going to be me. It's definitely going to be Luke. And I wouldn't even care. I'll be like, oh, finally, the fucking heat's off me for once. That being said, I did do about 15 minutes on this podcast about a robot with Asperger's. So, hey, maybe we both got an equal chance, huh? 
It just depends on who's listening to what at what time. <laughs> so if your name's Connor Lingus, maybe don't give us a call. Fuck, man. I reckon that's the dumbest shit he's said so far. And I say so far because I know he'll top it. And you know what? I'll top it too, bro. I've said some dumb as shit stuff on there. <laughs> what are we up to here? 34 minutes. Let me check my fucking notes. What else did I want to talk? I just I just turned it on and started going. What else did I want to talk about today? Um, oh, dude, that I might do a video about this actually. You know that that uh, Red Dead Redemption, that fucking cowboy Grand Theft Auto game came out. I, I I'm not into it. I'm fucking. I mean, playing World of Warcraft because fuck my life, right? That's where I live in Azeroth. But anyway, I <clears throat> don't don't really have much interest in it. Plus, it's not on PC. Is it on PC, dude? I don't get why, um, Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption, PC, is it on PC, or not? Uh, no, dude, I feel like, uh, why don't, um, I don't understand gaming, con why don't they just do it on, if they're doing it on Xbox and PS4, why don't they just also do it on PC, I mean, don't they fucking just make more money isn't that how that fucking works i don't know that confuses me anyway that red dead redemption shit you see like uh i might do a video about it on how everyone's cracking the shits because there's some feminist character npc in there that's like this woman she's a suffragette campaigning for women to be able to vote and uh which is like a realistic thing in that time period that character should be in the game but what i find so fucking funny about it is uh journalists are cracking the shits because uh, uh Obviously, teenage... Not even teenage, just anyone playing the game. When they see the feminist suffragette character campaigning with her sign, they just kill her. <laughs> or they tie her up and they put her on a fucking... On the railroad tracks and just do... Just like any horrible thing that you can do in that game, they just do it to that character. Because you know what? You know what? It's fucking funny as... Because you know why people are doing it? Because you shouldn't. Because they know, oh, oh, fucking, a suffragette feminist character to, 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 to display realism in a video game. I know what I'll do. I'm going to fucking just tie her up and kill her in the most, like, obscure way possible. Because it's not fucking real. And all these people are, oh, all bloody sexist gamers are killing an NPC. That's how fucking first world this place has gotten where feminists are campaigning for the safety of characters that don't even exist. Like, that's how good our life is in the first world, that feminists are literally campaigning for the safety of uh, computer-generated pixels. Jesus Christ. And it was like, oh, this fucking game's so sexist. It's like, dude, you can do that to the barbershop guy too. You know, you can do that to fucking anyone. It's like, what, just because just because there's some, you have political beliefs attached to that one fucking bit of programming and code that some nerd typed up on a computer because his boss told him to? That's that's the battle you're going to fight? That's where you're going to draw it? No, I'm drawing the line here, man. I mean, it's fucking, I mean, I know the third world still has fucking female genital mutilation and, and women aren't allowed, allowed to drive in the Middle East, but fuck, at least... <laughs> You know what's really fucked is when, when fucking 17-year-old boys kill a fucking character in a video game. That's what's really fucked up. That's where I draw the line. That's what I'm going to write an article about. It's fucking so stupid. I actually might do a video about that. That'll be funny. Or maybe I won't. Who knows? I don't know. I don't want to... Th the thing is, I don't want to start videos until I know that they won't stop. So I'm just trying to set myself up. But that's a funny idea. I might do that, actually. Um, you know, I will do that. I'll fucking do that. Three weeks later, no video. <laughs> I'm getting on it, guys. Don't worry. I do know. I've been... Um, well, I haven't been slacking off, actually. I've been working very fucking hard. I just haven't been putting much on YouTube. Um... All right, guys. Is there anything else that I wanted to talk about? Should we get a miscellaneous bit at the end? Um, where's my fucking notes here? Podcast. Where the fuck are they? Oh, here we go. Oh, dude. Someone said the funniest shit in the podcast group. Join the podcast group if you hadn't. It's on Facebook. Someone said the funniest shit. 
about the Spider Lad episode, which, by the way, last week was fucking so funny, man. Hanging out with Spider Lad himself. He told a whole bunch of jail tales, just hit stories about him being in jail and how he got arrested. And we heard the behind the scenes of everything and all that kind of shit. Um, but someone said the funniest shit in the podcast group. They were like, oh, we need fucking. We need a meth dealer to dress up as Venom to, like, fight Spider Lad. I was like, oh, dude. Imagine fucking Spider Lad versus Venom Bros. Spider would be like, oh, Peter Parker needs a pip. And Venom Bros would show up and be like, oh, you're a fucking dog. You're a fucking dog, tick up. Pay up, you dog. I gave you tick. Pay up, you fucking dog. And Spider would be like, nah, Peter Parker doesn't pay. And then, like, and then that would go on for fucking two hours. And then in the sequel, you know... <laughs> <laughs> the sequel would be Dr. Octo Pip <laughs> Dr. Octo Pip and he'd show up with like fucking just like eight ice pipes and he'd smoke them all I oh, fucking Dr. Octo Pip ah! and then he'd just overdose and die I'd watch that man fuck Marvel that's what I want to see methyl <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. That's funny. Um, Dr. Octo Pip. I'm the greatest comedian alive. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to do miscellaneous bit at the end, but I wanted to thank everyone. I know I kind of said this last episode, but I wasn't by myself then. I want to thank everyone who came out to the shows. Uh, it was an incredible tour. It, it it's like feels big now. It's, it's really, really cool. So to, to do, those, do those big venues and to perform for that many people and meet everyone afterwards was fucking... So good, and I really think they were some of the best performances of my life. Like so many people told me it was better than, better than the comedy special, which blew my mind, dude. So, because um, obviously that's what I'm trying to do, and I was so nervous about it. And uh, I, I find I'm at that point. I'm like, you know what? It fucking was, because uh, I'm a, I'm getting better every year. So, uh, I want to say a big thanks to everyone who came out, uh, everyone who got a ticket, everyone who fucking met me afterwards and grabbed the poster, grabbed the t-shirt, all that kind of shit. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to all the people who came. And um, that's how, you know, you keep the dream going and you keep me supporting me and uh, I'm going to keep working and, and uh, I'm going to keep getting better as a comedian because I really, I, I really fucking think uh, I'm on track and the goal is to become one of the biggest in this fucking country. And uh, you guys are uh, helping me achieve that. I'm, I'm so far away from it and it's going to take a decade, but I, I feel great about it. And I feel like I'm on that. I'm on the beginning of that path. So thank you so much, guys. It means the fucking world. And it was... Independent Variable was just fucking great. Big thanks to Greeley. Big thanks to uh, everyone who helped out. Everyone who showed up at the shows. Joseph Green, Luke Kidgel, Isaac Butterfield, Lachlan Fairbairn. Fucking everyone, man. It was great. So, uh, and if you would like to support me uh, and help me get better and improve everything. I really want to build a set for this podcast, man. Um, uh, Patreon's the way to do it. Patreon, uh, just search Lewis Spears Patreon on Google. You'll find it. You get early access to everything I do. I've got a Discord, uh, which is like a private group chat with everyone in there. And it's always fucking memes and I'm always in there just chatting. And uh, you get discounts on merch, free shit and all that kind of stuff. There's heaps of rewards, but the main thing is early access to videos and the little group chat that I'm in. It's really fucking good. The Patreon community is getting really, really really good and it's growing and uh it's great because that's the the patreon is the fucking engine of this thing that i'm doing so uh support me if you would like to uh and uh i will do my best to deliver on on uh making better content more frequently because that's what i really think that's what 2019 is going to be dude just me fucking pumping shit out i don't want to do anything new i don't want to do anything big i was talking about it with luke today i think he's on the same pathway we got fucking I got stand-up, radio, podcast, videos. That's all I want to do. I don't want to add anything new um, next year. I just want to fucking smash videos and podcasts and just get just do that. So um, that's what I'm doing. I did, the, I did the comedy special and the tour, and they both went insanely well. So now it's just time to go back to basics and do what, do what fucking made me go like that in the first place, which is just videos, and I want to come back in a big way. With that said, it's time to ruin all of the nice things that I've said by uh, bringing out uh, Miscellaneous Bit at the End, the uh, worst part of the podcast. Uh, sorry about that. If you don't know, the uh, Miscellaneous Bit at the End is part of the podcast where um, I uh, answer emails sent in by listeners who need life advice or anything. If you'd like to send in uh, an email, if you have a question or you need some advice, send it to podcast at loosespears.com. 
All right, where are we? Um, oh, this is fucking, this is fucking great, man. All right, so uh, I think two podcasts ago, I was talking about telling uh, salespeople the best way to shut down a salesperson is uh, by just telling them that you're gay. And I've started doing a stand-up bit about this. I can't believe I haven't turned it into a bit before. It's so fucking funny. Is uh, in, I used to do sales, right? And they train you like they're ready for the no. We know they, the main thing that we know you're gonna say no because ninety-nine percent of people do. What we're trained to do is to say hello, wait for the no, and then turn that no into a yes. So the way you really fuck with a salesperson is you say something completely left of field that they've never heard before and doesn't make any sense. And the best technique I've found is when they go, hey, sir, do you have a moment to talk about this? You just go, sorry, I'm gay. And then just walk away. And it fucking disables them. Like, gay? Oh, you. Shuts them down, dude. And I got a lot of emails about people trying this out and that's been great. So this one's called Christian Salesperson. Hey, Lewis. So after listening to your advice about telling people I'm gay, it worked, but way better than I thought it would. So I was walking down the street and a random guy just starts asking me if I believe in the Christian message. And as per your advice, I just tell him that I'm gay. (laughs) He immediately stepped away and yelled, you will go to hell for your sins and then ran away. I can't believe how well it worked. I got a great laugh. Have a shit one, Max. That's fucking so funny, dude. That's hilarious. And this one, this one's great. This one starts off with, I was hit with the I'm gay technique. Hey, Lewis, I thought I'd share with you what happened today as I volunteer. Uh, I'm a volunteer for a major government-funded organization, and today, me and my unit were out doing community engagement type stuff to try and get new members. So as I was stopping people handing out pamphlets and shit, typical scum of the earth behavior, and I see a guy... Uh, mid to early 20s, walking my way. So I step out with my pamphlet in hands and I say, Good evening, sir. How would you like to know how to protect your family in a time of crisis? He claps back and says, I'm gay. Sorry. (laughs) And keeps trying to walk away. So I reposition myself so I'm standing in front of him. I know just how to counter this. I've been taught by the shit at Slewis Spears. And he goes, yeah, that's okay, man. We accept everyone here. In fact, one of the members here with me today is gay. Oh, he fucking wrecked you, dude. Because that's what I said. That's the only way they... Because one salesperson in my four years of doing this has got me with that. That's okay. We love everyone. And I was like, fuck, he got me. So this guy's just copied that. He started to stutter. And I know that I've got him. Now time to reel him in by playing on his interest. This is a good salesman, man. I love this shit. You're a Lewis Spears you're a Lewis Spears fan too, huh? I said. Now he knows that I've learned how to counter the I'm gay approach. He knows he has no choice but to hear me out. We keep talking for a bit about you, and then I start selling him, and he actually showed interest in volunteer tearing. Gave him a few forms to fill in and he went on his way. Um, although, like a classic Lewis fan, I did see him throw all the all the forms in the bin a few seconds later. <laughs> this is what happens when two Lewis Spears fans collide. Two cunts trying to out-cunt each other. Have a shitter one than the dude who got beaten at the I'm Gay game. <laughs> that's fucking funny, as yeah. You guys just checkmated each other. Fuck, dude, that's hilarious. I think another person actually messaged me about the I'm Gay thing. Where was it? It was in my phone here. I had it here. Um, where was it? Sorry, guys. Being disrespectful as fuck again. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Did any of you guys... This is in the group chat for the Patreon. Did any of you guys in Perth just tell a lady selling paintball that you're gay? <laughs> And then some guy goes, uh, I told someone handing out Uber things I was gay. They didn't know what to do. So that's like just an unrelated thing. No, but I did tell someone from Uber that. And then the original guy goes, lol, I sell paintball tickets and one of the people in Perth I work with just got told, sorry, I'm gay. (laughs) I fucking love that this thing is just spreading and now everyone's just doing it. That's the greatest shit ever. People in Perth are doing it to the paintball cunts. People in Melbourne do it to the Uber cunts. People in Sydney are doing it to volunteer for the government. So good. Sorry, I'm gay. Fucking great. That's hilarious. You know what, though? The problem is if we all start doing it this much, fucking salespeople are going to work out how to counter it. Amazing. All right, was there anything else in my fucking emails? 
Uh, oh, here we go. The Mormon Stalker. Ooh. Afternoon, Lewis. Congratulations on the tour, the special, and any other shit you've done. It's great work. I've got a short story on a religious stalker. I was walking through town on my way to work when I came across a Mormon while listening to the Spider Lad podcast, and she asked me a question. I quickly responded with, Sorry, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Bearing in mind that I'm a 19 year old male. She proceeded to congratulate me and follow saying it's a miracle how I got pres- pregnant. So I told her I was gay. <laughs> and again, she told me, well done for being open with myself. I was wondering what else I could do to avoid the religious sweet street wanderers. Many thanks, Andy. I don't know, Andy. I feel like you're fucked. That Mormon's very persistent. I didn't even know that that story was going to be about I'm gay. I just heard Mormon stalker. Anything that's not about I'm gay, I feel like I've gotten about 30 fucking emails. Where are we? Um, no. That's it. Alright, guys. That's where I'm going to end it. If you want to send an email in, podcast at loosebeers.com, I'll get back to you uh, shortly. Thank you very much for listening. That's the end of the podcast. I'll be going 50 minutes here. That's enough. All right. Uh, thank you for listening. Thanks to everyone who came out to the shows. It was fucking awesome. And uh, I'm really excited to get back into videos and get back into pumping out content. I'm hoping that, that all the podcasts will be done from this podcast space. And uh, I really do want to upgrade it, get a little set going as well. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the every podcast that I do, it gets a little bit more expensive. Uh, and unless I want to delete episodes uh, to keep the cost down, which I definitely don't want to do, uh, it'll just keep getting more expensive. So if you like the podcast and you want to contribute, uh, check out my Patreon. You get early access to everything that I do. This podcast is going up on a Friday night instead of a Sunday. And uh, they'll all come out on Fridays or Thursdays from now if you're a Patreon supporter. Sunday for everybody else. So it's nice and early. And same with videos and all that kind of shit. All right. That's the end of the podcast. Uh, thanks to the Patreon supporters and everyone who listened. I will see you next Sunday. Uh, and I hope you have the shittest one ever.